So this video is in addition to the last video where I turned a regular piece of rebar into a square brooch to drive holes through steel. And people wanted to know, the number one question is, can you use a shot press instead of the old beater? Yes, you can. And I'm going to show you. So this is a 12 ton press. There's lots of charts out there that tell you how much, you know, how much tonnage you need to actually punch a hole through a piece of steel, the thickness. Um, to do a hole this size, roughly, they claim about 10 tons, but that's, I think, punching it without any pre-drill hole. So maybe it'll take less, maybe it'll take more. Um, I shortened this down to about as short as possible. I would also, if I was doing a bunch of these, I would cut a sleeve for this to go around that I could slide up you know, around there, position it, have it slide down to catch it. Um, I was going to put this face shield around for you guys, but you guys, the glare off it, you guys can't really see through it. But I am wearing leathers because I'm not going to have a shield around it. This is dangerous. Anytime you play with the press, it's not safe. So we're going to set it there and we're going to press it through. The worst part about a cheap press, besides everything just being wobbly and weebly, is these press blocks. These press blocks suck. So... We'll just get that centered up on there best we can. And looks pretty good for what it is. Pump one. Let's go. There you go. You can use a press. It's not pretty. The hammer does a far better job because you slowly chisel at it. This really deformed the metal, but it did do it. So the people that ask, can you use a press? Yes, you can, but you, you would do better also if there was a good die, you know, a matching square die right behind it. But to get that lined up perfectly with the cheap weeble out wobbly press, it's better to go with a hammer. One final idea that somebody suggested was an air hammer. Why not? So we have an old bit here and I cut down a uh, socket so you can kind of cup that and just kind of hold it. And we hold that over and we can see if we can just air hammer that down. Why not? Air hammer got a little too much oomph for this. I don't know, it broke off a couple teeth right there. Um, Kind of goes to show you the, the, the brittleness sometimes. So it broke off a couple little teeth. I think the air hammer might just put too much vibration. It's too wibbly wobbly. 
But if you got it started, maybe if I got it started with the hammer, and then brought this in and allowed this just to take it the rest of the way home. Now I just got to go over and sharpen that up just a little bit. But yeah, not a bad idea. Could probably do it. Hopefully that's the information you guys wanted to know. I think the hammer worked better. I think because it works like an impact gun. It's just small little bites where the press is like a, uh, you know, a 10 foot cheater bar, you know, leverage. You're putting on a lug nut and you're just, you're bending everything. That whole bar is just bending as bad as possible. And the last second, either the, the lug nut's going to go or it's going to, something's going to break. And that's the press. This is the impact gun with the hammer. So I think that's why the hammer does such a much more cleaner thing. Um, I do think if you had a higher end press um, with better press blocks, that's not, you know, if the press isn't so wobbly, it would work better. But also if you have a super high end press, you probably aren't going to be worrying about little cheapo rebar brooches. Um, and a die, you know, a die on the backside, I think is a must for doing just the, the sheer force of pushing stuff through. Um, the other question I got asked a lot was, is all rebar hardenable? Um, as far as I know, I'm just using the cheapest stuff. This is just builder grade, put in cement. I'm sure if you got it from a bridge building or a skyscraper and something that people's lives depended on it, you're going to get even better rebar than just this, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, put it in your concrete stuff. But I've had no issues with this stuff at all. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.